Thanos is coming. Even though the heroes of the MCU don't know it yet, the overarching Big Ben is on his way to claim the six Infinity Stones, six powerful artifacts that grant the user almost omnipotency. However, Thanos can't do this feat alone. Well, he could, but he still has his army of Chitauri warriors and his dreaded Black Order by his side. While we've seen the Chitauri, we're yet to see these other big baddies who are shrouded in almost as much mystery as Thanos himself. Hi nerds, I'm Trent and today we're going to be learning everything you need to know about the Black Order. Thanos' generals who are aiding him on his quest for the Infinity Stones. Now the movie versions differ slightly from the comics, but fear not, we'll inform you of all the key members that are appearing in this film. Now, amazingly enough, the Black Order, also known as the Cull Obsidian in the comics, are relatively new to the Marvel Universe. Debuting as a team in 2013, just before the big Infinity event, in issue 8 of New Avengers Volume 3. The team consists of Corvus Glaive, Proxima Midnight, the Ebony Maw, Supergiant, Black Dwarf and Black Swan. They all appear on Earth to raise it to the ground in order to help Thanos find the Infinity Stones which are being held by each member of the Illuminati, Marvel's secret society of most powerful members consisting of the likes of Black Panther, Iron Man, Doctor Strange and the mighty Professor Xavier. Now unfortunately key members Black Swan and Supergiant have been omitted from the upcoming Avengers Infinity War, but I still hold out hopes that they'll appear, we just don't know it yet. Anyways, the Black Elder in the comics have a very specific skill set. Corvus Glaive, who acts as Thanos' right hand man, also holds an interesting glaive, you know, a scepter. Without it, Corvus has super strength, speed and endurance, you know, the natural abilities of an alien species but his particular strength comes from his weapon. While the blade slash glaive slash spear is intact, he's immortal and cannot be killed. The glaive also has the ability to split atoms, essentially enabling him to cut through any object in the universe. He's also a cunning strategist who is deemed the greatest in the universe. However, this was stated by his wife Proxima Midnight, so there's bound to be some bias there. That being said, he orchestrated the invasion of Earth and most strategic targets that ultimately struggled against the might of the Black Order and Thanos. Now, Speaking of Proxima Midnight, she's personally my favourite member of the Black Order, sporting an awesome headdress reminiscent of Hela, but you know, I'm not sure, it could also be part of her alien physiology. She also possesses similar alien traits to her husband. However, what makes Proxima so deadly is that she's an expert in combat, with a spear that was forged by Thanos in a space-time anomaly between a supernova and a black hole. The spear emits energy that if it hits an opponent, it ultimately freezes them in place and weighs them down so they cannot move. It also contains a lethal toxin that can kill any living being. Oh yeah, and did I mention that Proxima's throwing arm never misses its mark? Hawk I'd better watch out because he has some competition. Now this powerful lance was able to incapacitate the former Miss Marvel Monica Rambeau, albeit it didn't kill her but did poison her and neutralise her photon form. The Ebony Maw is the next member of the Order. He's definitely not a combat fighter but what he lacks in strength he makes up for in his super intelligence. That's right, Ebony Maw has the ability to persuade and manipulate people into doing his bidding. He managed to coax Doctor Strange into unleashing the deadly Shumu Gurath in Mighty Avengers issue 2. Now, Maul has been considered to be in his positions to put his own interests first, quickly turning his attention to Thane after Thanos' defeat in Infinity to try and make him a greater ruler, possibly with his own desires in mind. It's also unknown, due to his ability to lie and manipulate possibly every single conversation that he's in, that he may have more strength and powers than he lets on. He uses technology in his battles and equips himself with a force field and a shadow meld to make him appear invisible and sneak past his enemies. Now Black Dwarf, the other member, has undergone a significant change in the MCU, now being called the Cull Obsidian. Probably because there's too many black references in the movie. No, 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 hold on, hold on, I don't mean that, I don't mean, I, I don't mean that, I mean too many characters with black in their name. We already have Black Widow and Black Panther, it only makes sense for Dwarf to have his name changed to Cull Obsidian. But wait. That's the team's other name. God damn it, Marvel! Anyway, Black Dwarf is now taking the name Cull Obsidian, which is probably for the best since it sounds much more imposing. Anyway, he's the brute strength of the group and in turn the biggest member. He's also the brother of Corvus Glaive in the comics. To match his super strength, you know, which is on Hulk like level, he also has unbreakable skin, similar to Luke Cage. There's not much really else to him, he's just the muscle. In Infinity, he was sent to Wakanda to get Panther's Infinity Stone, but ultimately failed, and in turn was banished from the Order by Thanos himself for not being worthy. We're yet to see or know many details about the Order in Infinity War, only knowing that James Gunn and the Russos have alluded to them as being the children of Thanos, much like Gamora and Nebula, so that's probably where that link's going to come into it. While they're not biological children, these could easily be people that Thanos rescued or kidnapped to serve his quest for galactic might. 
Now, if you want some good stories about the Black Order, you're in luck since I've had seldom appearances since 2013's Infinity Event, so that's a must. There's also the Time Runs Out series that leads into 2015's Secret War series. The Black Order also currently stars in Mark Wade's current Avengers No Surrender series. But, you know, they're slowly being killed off. But anyway, that's it from us. You're all caught up on who the Black Order are and why they pose such a threat to humanity and the Avengers. Who do you think's the most dangerous member of the Order? Or who will have the most fatal impact in the movie? Someone's got to die, they've said it. So will they actually, you know, kill off someone? Poor guy. Anyway, let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'm Trent and until next time, I'll see you nerds at the movies.